Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title, today I'm doing my everyday makeup routine. If you do not know me and you're new to this channel, thank you so much for joining. I'm Sydney. Um, I'm a morning news anchor and so I wear makeup every single day and so I just wanted to show you guys my everyday routine for that. I do not wear foundation in my in my makeup. I almost said my curly hair routine. <laughs> I do not wear foundation whenever I'm going to work. Um, I'll explain on that a little bit later. But if you've been wanting to try out just wearing concealer and everything else, then de this is definitely the um, video for you. So I hope you guys enjoy. Obviously, make sure you give this video a huge thumbs up. I'm really trying to grow my YouTube channel, and so I hope you guys enjoy this. And I can't wait to get into this video. So just to give you guys a little bit of a background and like how I get ready every day for work. A lot of anchors actually get ready for work at work. Um, the only thing I do get ready at work is I get dressed. Um, which a lot of others do, but some also do their makeup at work. I know our meteorologist Taken does. Um, personally, I can't do that. I have to do my makeup before I leave the house. So what I um, basically do is I wake up at around 12.15 a.m. I go to work at 1.30 a.m. I actually get out of bed at 12.30, so I give myself 10 minutes to do my hair. Yes, my curly hair people are probably like, girl, what? Yes, 10 minutes. Um, then I do my makeup in 20 minutes. So this routine will try to be around that. I'm not gonna rush through it though. I definitely wanna take my time with it. So it's not gonna be the um, accurate amount of time that I usually would get ready, but we are gonna try to hit around that. So I'm just gonna pin my hair back, at least in the front. Okay, and to start my makeup routine, as you guys know, you always start with primer, moisturizing your face, whatever you like to do. However, with me, I get my makeup done, I get my eyebrows done every two weeks. Um, and so sometimes I just need a little bit of cleaning up. So I have this one of those little razors um, and I usually take this and clean up my eyebrows with it. So I'm gonna do that first. I am due for another wax. So I'm gonna do that first and then check back in with you guys. All right, so I cleaned up my eyebrows and um, I've been doing that for so many years, so it doesn't really take me that long. Whenever I go in with my primer, I've never been a primer girl, to be perfectly honest with y'all. Like I've always ever just used my moisturizer, my facial moisturizer. I have two go-tos. The second one you guys will see in my skincare routine whenever I drop that, but the one I do for use for my makeup is the Nature's Well Extra Virgin Coconut Oil Moisturizing Cream. This is perfect because I have super dry skin. If you have dry skin, definitely suggest you just um, maybe try this out. Um, I put my family on to it. My dad used to use it as well. So um, it's a great, great moisturizer. Well, I just rub this all through my skin. However, if you do enjoy primers, they just never really, you know, have done what I need them to do. But one that has gotten pretty close to that is the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. There are two of these. There's a new one that they have. It's I think it's in like a more of a tool bottle. The only difference is kind of like the texture of them. Second most important thing to make sure you do before you put your makeup on is use a sunscreen. Especially it's the summertime. It's supposed to be one of the, like I said this in my last vlog, supposed to be one of the like hottest summers. So it's obviously definitely good to remember to protect your skin. If you have a sunscreen that you use and it's good for you, it works for you, go ahead and use that girl. But the black girl sunscreen is definitely, it goes like, it's been hyped up so much and I'm gonna tell you it is great. This is what it looks like. It's a little clear one and I personally have the make it matte so I'll put that on and I have dry skin but this one has never really bothered my I know usually sometimes like matte um, products don't really go well with dry skin but this one is fine and it's so lightweight as you can see you cannot see because i showed you guys it's clear there's no such thing as a white cast with the black girl sunscreen and it works so great for me it goes and pairs perfectly with my moisturizer and i'm sure it would pair really well with other things so now we're done with prepping our face the first thing i like to go in with is my uh i start with my eyebrows so i start with the morphe eyebrow pomade it's in the shade chocolate mousse as you can see i've been using it for a, a while i used to use the pencils i don't know by what brand maybe next and i would just notice that they would um i would run out really quickly and for whatever reason this pomade 
I don't like it's been lasting me so many months like as of right now it's been lasting me at least seven months I just take this I have a morphe eyebrow brush I just take the brush and I put the product on there and I'll go ahead and brush my eyebrows out and I, I like this I like to start with the top and line that part then I'll do like the tail of it and then I'll bring the product back in and do lightly do the bottom my, this eyebrow is like like <laughs> that looks so good this eyebrow is so easy to do I don't know if it's just like the placement of it but I usually do this eyebrow super quick and y'all know I do my eyebrows my makeup in 15 to 20 minutes so I don't have time to be like playing around with my makeup in the morning so I've gotten pretty good at doing it really quickly I literally just let the brush glide through the hairs then I bring it back through the bottom and do a light fill in there I don't really fill in like the middle parts I feel like once I brush them the product basically spreads out I'm gonna go back in and clean them up with my concealer my go-to concealer this one has been working for me so well um, I haven't found one that's better than it but if you guys have any suggestions that are cheaper definitely would take y'all suggestions in the comments but I use the Tarte Shape Tape and I use the shade 35 in obviously when I wear concealer I like it to be brighter um, I need to find a concealer for my eyebrows that like match my skin tone a little bit more on the very to use on the top but I just haven't gotten around to that so we're gonna use this my go-to I always take the product and like put it on my um, hand then I'll take this other brush that's very similar to the morphe one it just happens just to be a different brand and a different color. I'm just going to take the product, dab it on the brush. And then start with one eyebrow and clean her up. And then I'll go in on the bottom and finish it off. Then I take this Morphe foundation brush. It is the Morphe M444. This is what it looks like. It's actually a foundation brush. And if I were to wear foundation, this is what I would use to blend it out. All right, so the next thing I do is before I put concealer on, y'all know I'm not putting foundation on, so I skipped that set. Um, I actually put my contour on. So I contour first. I technically contour my nose first. The rest will um, go on later. I take the contour and put it on. I just sloppily put it on my nose. Y'all know I'm rushing, so I don't have time to be cute about it. And then I take this contour blending brush. Um, I also have this one. I'll go back in with this one. This is actually the Morphe M164, but I go in with that later. I, for now, I need this big one. I don't know what brand this is. Doesn't really have me label. And I'll just blend that out. So the key with your nose contour is to make sure you bring it all the way up. As you can see, it gives you like that perfect nose contour if you bring it all the way up into your eyebrows. So whenever you're blending, it doesn't have to be perfect because concealer is going to go over it and clean it up. So even if I go a little bit too like inward, I'm going to put concealer right there and then I'm going to show you all how I clean it up basically. I'm going to go in with my concealer. So I start with, when I when I first pull it out, I start with putting it right here because usually it has like the most product on the spoolie or brush. So I'll take it right here. I know a lot of people do the one little thing right here and one right there. 
if that works for you perfect if this works for you even better this works for me because i have like really dark um under eye circles and this gives me the most coverage also i'm not wearing foundation so i will need the concealer to cover up this entire area so i still do the little triangle method don't feel bad if you still do it because i definitely do and i usually go like right here and just stop right there later um we'll blend it up All right, so now that I have that done, I'm gonna take a damp beauty blender. First, I'm going to blend out my chin, then I'll go up and end off with my forehead. Okay, as you can see, I'm getting to my eyes. Sorry, <laughs> I'm getting to my eyes and around my nose. When I get to my nose, I first like to blend out a majority of everything else. I will use the pointy end and basically kind of create a line and I drag the product down, creating a line. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. Next thing up, I'm going to take the excess product that's on here and just go down my nose, the bridge of my nose. All right, now for the fun part, we're going to bring some of that color back. <laughs> I'm going to take the contour stick and contour my cheekbones. I'm technically sitting on top of the bottom of my cheekbone right now. And then contour my forehead. If I need more later, I'll go back and do it. Um, take my contour brush and just blend that out, girly. Personally, I like to bring it all the way to inner quarter of my mouth and then also right here. I've seen girls that like to do like a little dip right here and they're doing that because they're to highlight their cheeks. That also works if that looks good on you. Alright, so that is done. If you want to blend this out a little bit more, remember I mentioned using this Morphe brush, the M164, you can definitely just go back in. All you have to do is take the contour, I lost it, here it is, brush it onto here and literally just do that. But mine is obvious, as you can see, it's like very definite. <laughs> There's clearly a line right there, so I don't like to do that. All right. Now that we've done all of that, as you can see, we're really almost done, it's crazy. But we're gonna take our setting powder. I use a Laura Mercier. This is the 46th annual, 40 something annual, 40th annual edition. This is the really big one, as you can see, like compared to my face, it's the really big one. I love it. But to use a setting powder, I use a translucent powder and I take my beauty blender and it picks so much product up whenever I do that. And I literally just take it First, starting with under my eyes. I don't bake, as you can see, like as soon as I put it on, I'm bit blending it in. I don't bake because I have dry skin and I don't bake because I don't have time to be baking, okay? So I, I'm gonna show you guys, but I use two setting powders still have that really sharp line don't worry it's gonna get blended out right now close that baby up this is when the fenty powder comes in this is the um we're using fenty uh what is it called pro filter setting powder it's in the shade um cashew shake it up so it gets product on the top then i just open it i take out this part Look at all that powder that comes out. I take out that part and I put it in the top. And whenever I'm putting my setting powder, I use this. So I take my brush. It's just like a really big, this is my, if my sister is watching this, Candace, this is your brush that I have had for like 
probably four years and it used to be hers and I accidentally I literally accidentally took it I wasn't even wearing makeup at the time and I've had it ever since and it's perfect all right so I usually feel like my chin is a little bit too light so I like to take it take the brush and I'll go over my contour first and below when I run out of product on the brush dip it in here dip it and then put it back on that back on this part because it has those little like beaded parts and whenever I put my brush on it it spreads the product out around the brush evenly I'm just taking like it on my nose I don't do it like this I do it on the sides because my under eyes also need to be blended out and I blend that out if not my under eyes will look very white as you can see the color is back she's no longer ghostly she's now a tanned beach girl <laughs> closing up everything because we're basically almost done the last thing i do for my makeup routine not the last but one of the last things i do for my makeup routine blush i love blush right now it's one of my favorite makeup products and for the longest i never used blush but i currently use a rare beauty one and it has made me ultimately fall in love with blush and i want to buy more but um make sure it's a liquid blush so make sure when you're using it you don't use too much i always scrape off the top and then i'll just go in and put these little circles not too much because it will blend out now i am on tv and we stand in front of a whole bunch of lights so i sometimes have to put on more blush and more makeup because or else I'm going to look out what looked washed out on the air. So this may be too much blush for you and that's okay. It works for me and on TV, but it may not work for you. And it may not be enough. It just depends. So I usually use this blush brush. It is a e.l.f. brush. So super inexpensive. First, I'll use my fingers to blend it out. You definitely want to make sure you start blending before it like dries down. So I do a bulk of the blending with my fingers. I know if you don't like fingers and makeup, this is probably cringe to you, but it works. <laughs> and then I take this and I literally just brush out. I like to go on my concealer, I mean concealer, mascara. One of the best feelings is whenever you're done with your makeup and you can take some Vaseline chapstick and wipe out that ugly concealer that's thinking you look like you never mind <laughs> last but not least the next thing I usually would do is I would go in with the lip combo however I don't have like my favorites right now they're at work for now I am going to show you my go to lip liner it's the NYX lip liner and it's a brown a dark brown I love to came back but all I did was put on a nude lipstick I'm not going to show you guys that because it's not the one I usually wear and you can really use any one I just use one from NYX but the one I wear is at home I mean is at work I'm going to put it on the side right here so you guys can look it up it's also a NYX lip gloss and it's so cute it's pinky it's like a pink color basically but yeah so this is the final look as you can see it was really quick if you ever feel like you wanted to go back and in and add anything like i would personally add more contour right here that's how i get the little brown eyeshadow look but not really because i don't know how to do eyeshadow but it works for me <laughs> but this is my go-to makeup routine that i do for work every single day so my 24 7 makeup um i do have a routine for my skincare when i come back from home i wear makeup so much that i have to have a banging skincare routine so it's definitely one you guys can trust if you guys would like to see that in the future on my youtube channel definitely make sure to leave a comment below and if you have any other suggestions of videos you would like to see let me know as always i love you guys i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you're following me on tiktok sydney and grace brooks instagram sydney and grace brooks and yeah <laughs> also make sure to go follow my professional pages sydney brooks tv instagram twitter facebook i post mostly on twitter and facebook so make sure you go check me out on there hope you guys enjoyed this and i'll see y'all later